projects Get me a little more cheddar Cut me a few Gucci sweaters Roll up plenty of woods Feel good just like I should How could you have misunderstood? Have, have to do better What's good YouTube? It's Ashton Ashtray back for another video I know it's been a minute And I know I've never done this style of video But we're gonna do a car talk, you know what I'm saying? A real deal car clock talk, you know what I'm saying? Just talking about all this crazy shit that's going down in the world. I don't know, I just want to get on here and like vent to you guys, I guess is what I'm saying. Essentially, I just want to vent to you guys. So let's get this underway. All right, first, bro, this coronavirus, I mean, this is all that people have ever been talking about for the last a minute now, but uh, I ain't really shared no opinions on it. <clears throat> well, a little bit in like a previous vlog, I'm gonna insert that. Um, I think it's gonna be right here. Yeah, I'm gonna insert that right there. But uh, no, nah, like to be for real, for real though, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Like, we're literally quarantined. I don't know about your city, but uh, I'm in Memphis. So, uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, we, right now it's, uh, what, what's today's date? Let me, let me check my car and see if it'll tell me. Um, fuck it. I think, no, today is the 25th, March 25th. And right now we only got like 100 and some uh, people infected with the coronavirus in Tennessee. And, I mean, in Memphis, don't get me wrong, not in Tennessee, but in Memphis. And uh, I mean, we got like, we got close to a million people in our city. So, uh, I mean, that's not bad numbers. You know, I'm, you know, it's like 0.1%. So I think we straight, uh, to be honest. But we literally have a curfew out here in Memphis, Tennessee. I don't know if y'all have a curfew or if y'all will be getting a curfew. But, yeah, everything's shut down. And things got to be off the street by 6 p.m. every day for the next two weeks. No clothing stores open. For real, unless they do curbside pickup. Gas station, same thing. If you can get gas. Um, it's kind of crazy. Repair shops and shit is still open. Um, then hospitals and like grocery stores, of course. But yeah, they're closing down at six o'clock. Hella early, you know what I'm saying? So shit is real out here. Like shit is literally real. <laughs> it's not even that real though. Like it's it's real, but it's like I don't know. It's not that serious. But it's, it's definitely a first in life to ever see, like, the whole nation kind of, like, locked down and uh, not go outside. Also kind of scary because, you know, this kind of alludes to, like, niggas with, like, like, the government taking control and giving us real curfews, like, on the movies and stuff. So, I mean, that's crazy. But other than that, bro, it's really not that bad. What do y'all think, though, about that? Like, yeah, I think we're going to get real deal, um, curfews like later on in the future leave that in the comment section below I, i'm just curious no cap but i don't think i don't really think nothing's gonna happen for real i think this i think it's pretty chill to be honest i think it's pretty chill it makes niggas be homebodies you know i'm not tripping about that stimulus check you know can't hurt especially can't hurt all the niggas that want to spend that you know what i'm saying so that's more money circulate circulating around in the uh, united states most likely because i feel like china's gonna real deal take a major hit as far as uh economics go because like they were like for a minute low-key like the number one country According to statistics or some shit like that, politics and economics and things. Supposedly, China was like number one. I bet they'll be like number three now. Yeah, I think we're number two, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll probably go back to number one. America will probably see significant economic 
stimulus stimulation from it. I don't know, maybe not though. Cause you know they say we're in a recession. Uh but I don't know nothing about politics, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I don't, I don't really. I know I dabble. I dabble. I'm aware. Let's put it like that. I ain't I ain't just out here unknowledgeable about nothing. I'm aware, but I don't like wanna get into the intricacies and things. So that ain't me. Nah, leave that to Joe Biden or whatever. You know what I'm saying? At least I know some politicians. I could not know nobody. I only know the popular ones, though. If you want me to be honest, like, I don't even know for real who our state senators are. And I probably heard their name and watched their commercials probably like thousands of times. But do you know your state senators? I doubt it. So who cares? Like. Unless they like super famous, like Sarah Payton. I don't even know if she's a senator anymore. You see what I'm saying? Or was she ever? Shit, who cares? It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Because coronavirus, of course, I'm just playing. But, but um, this corona is pretty, pretty low-key chill. But on the other topics, how long y'all think these flights are going to stay low? Like low prices. Because like people are screenshotting shit where it's like, $15 to fly from like Cleveland to Miami or $28 to go to New York to Chicago and I'm like what is going on like like if I can fly from I bet it's probably like $5 for Vegas to LA flights you know what I'm saying right now if not $20 $30 but that's pretty low I don't even care if I pay 100 or like 150 like that's still low flights like I wonder how long that's gonna be around do y'all think like if we book flights and like go ahead and book them for like November and shit, you know, lock them in at like twenty dollars. Like that's wonderful flightage, like wonderful flightage for real. So I might have to uh, book a couple things just for the hell of it. I don't even care. Just twenty dollar flights. You know what I'm saying? How can you go wrong with a twenty dollar flight? You cannot go wrong with a twenty dollar flight. Yeah. So y'all book some flights, cause. It's like twenty dollars flights out here, literally. So that shit sounds amazing. On to other topics. I got a serious question. I got a serious question. All right. So do y'all feel like social media has helped calm the scariness about the coronavirus down, or do y'all feel like it's made it worse because I see hella jokes. I see hella prevention, like spreading of awareness and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like wash your hands. Everybody been talking about washing hands. Y'all should have been washing your hands. But if you niggas just started, y'all are gross. Uh, and you niggas who only using hand sanitizer when there's plenty of vitamins still there, y'all are tripping because. I grab vitamins. Y'all out here grabbing tissue. I don't even use tissue. I use baby wipes. So, y'all, y'all just missing out. If you're not wiping with a baby wipe, your ass is still dirty. Let's just put it like that. Your ass is still dirty. Catch out the bag. Your ass is still dirty if you're using baby wipes and not using. Um, no, your ass is still dirty if you're using tissue and not bay wipes. You got dingleberries, you, you got dried shit somewhere in your crack meat. Get a baby wipe. Just get a baby wipe. I promise you it'll take you far longer. You feel better. You feel like you just hopped out the shower every time you shit. And you don't never feel dirty. Like, so invest in baby wipes. Johnson & Johnson, thank me. I love a promotion of your supply of free baby wipes. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do, get that popping. Uh... And then, yeah, like, do y'all feel like, or has it just been worse? Like, do y'all feel like all the false information that's been spread around, do you feel like that's made it more scary? Or is it just like all of it kind of neutrals each other out, like the pros and the cons of social media with the coronavirus just kind of equal each other out and created a bunch of scary people? And a bunch of all this ain't shit people You know what I'm saying So uh, I want to know that in the comments I might even make a poll I think it's going to be right here again 
So I might make a poll too. Just click that. Uh, and uh, also write in the comments, which one do y'all think is done worse for people? Cause uh, I don't know. I feel like honestly, it's probably a little bit more to the not so scary because like the shit on the news just makes it seem like it's the most horrific shit ever. <clears throat> but social media definitely kind of lightened it up for I feel like a lot of people, especially cause everybody bored and they mind is strictly like on that stuff. So like, but y'all let me know what y'all think. I wanna, I don't wanna, wanna skew y'all opinion too much. So yeah, y'all just go down and let me know. And uh, that's the end of this video. I ain't gonna lie, cause yeah, I don't know what else to talk about, bro. I'm hella bored myself, so I just want to hop in the car and do this quick thing off the phone, just to you know interact with you guys and drop something for you. But uh, if you made it this far, again, let me know in the comments. You know what I'm saying for sure. Say uh end the video game hashtag end the video game and we're gonna see what's popping in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment anything because I didn't coach y'all to comment this whole video and uh share if y'all want to, you know what I'm saying? I know everybody's at home, they probably wanna talk about the coronavirus too, because that's basically all I talked about today. Three ways the coronavirus has affected the world to us. Gotta but uh no, just let me know. Um, and share this video so other people can pitch in and you know like it on Facebook or whatever you know good jazz shit gang gang but yeah we out